Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. How are you guys today? I hope you are having a great day, evening, or night, whenever you are watching this reading. about it today. Let's see what they're talking about. I heard self-sabotage when I first came in here. I heard self-sabotage and what are we going toward now? It's the new year. What are we going toward? You know, what is our new destiny? What are we going toward? So we're going to find out what we're going toward. What are we letting go? What direction we're going? And I'm going to get some um, directions to see which way we're going in this thing. Beep, beep, ba, 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 ba. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. That we, there we will go. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to start here. Bam, bam, bam. Just give me a second, y'all. Y'all know this is 21 plus, raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. Okay. I don't know what these messages will be before they come out. So we just going to see. They want to fly all out of here. Okay. Okay. Y'all ready for the holiday? Coming up soon. I'm thinking this is Sunday here where I am. And you know, Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Love, commit to the pra practice of seeing the good in all. And what's your way we going? That's a two way street from when you with somebody. It's got to be love, giving, and receiving. Okay? And then in its failures, understand that a mistake is on only an opportunity to learn. That's your failures, understanding the opportunity to learn. And you know, and that's about that Route 66, you know, that's them, you know, toxic things, you know, that no longer service. And then it's just the courage. I find the inner strength to face fears with confidence, all right? So we're facing our fears with confidence. And what we emerging in here somewhere, some, something else is emerging in here, all right? And it says, um, let's see, what else is merging in here? So we got the Ten of Pentacles, uh-huh. We got this Knight of Pentacles. He out here in his journey. We got the Death um, card. The Death and Rebirth right now. Okay. Look at that. That's a beautiful card right there. Transformation. It's a moth. And then we have the, the Lovers. So this was a happy relationship. He is in his journey right now. Look at this. I'm showing y'all. So, okay. So this is him in his family and stability and his family and happy and partying and celebrating and you know some kind of function is here and then he's off in the um pastures by himself grazing and off to his own new his new journey okay so that's where the knight is doing right now knight of pentacles he's off on a new journey you know voyaging for something new okay that's what it's telling us about this love and it's about a two-way street and it's about these failures you know that's why you know something fell here that's probably why he's out here in these pastures this is about the death to something old and this is about the love that that was here these lovers okay this is about the death and the love this is the death and the new birth i mean this is a new deck for me but guess guess what it comes right out of the deck ready to work and i love it out of the mud comes a lotus flower and also there's some wings up here and it's just you know telling me you know meeting that person meeting that new one meeting that special new one this look like the new lover is on the rise this look like that new lover we've been waiting for oh no all right but we know 
the three of voices is here. You know, we still hide behind those closed doors about some things that is holding us back, you know. And then we got the emotions here. We don't see. You know, it took me a minute to see that, you know, it was more than three cellists here. Because she is the fourth cellist. Alright, so this is, you know, the two people here. And then she's the cellist in the middle. Okay, so that's the, about the, you know, that was also about taking that offer and not taking an offer. Or, you know, you know, being confused about taking an offer. And then this is the Knight of Wands. Okay, so there is another woman out here that he is passionate about in these um, journeys that he's on. There is a woman out here that he is passionate about. I knew there was somebody out here because there was something emerging in. Okay, and then there's somebody else is holding on, head and heart, holding on to their purse, holding on to, you know, what they had with this person, possibly. So we're going to get some more. I'm going to pull a couple more to clarify these cars. And then we're going to see what's up and how they, how they operating over here. Okay, so where I put the uh, the light, I'm going to put the muse. And then where I put the muse, I'm going to put the light to clarify. Okay, and then we got the, um, the four of emotions here. And I wanted to tell you about that. That was about missing out on the wonderful things in front of you. And this is boredom and dissatisfaction and seeking... Um, Seeking better opportunities, and this is falling in to see a bit, failing to see the bigger picture. A time for contemplation and meditation is here, okay. And then we got that three, um, and that's that friendship and that joy. Nope, that's the wrong one. Sorry, sorry. Alrighty. So that is about the painful separation, the heartbreak, the sorrow, the loss, the unexpected, the letdowns, the words um, that hurt, the disappointment, the relationship, and then the pain, the wound, the wounding, the final um, understanding what needs to be healed here. Okay, there's some things that need to be healed here. You know, and, um, you know, yeah, we just want to get through it, though. You know, we just can't stay stuck in this whole situation, waiting and wondering. You know, because these soulmates and lovers and attraction and partners and a choice, sacred kinship, the love, the nudge, to ask what you would create if love were the main ingredient, textures of entanglement, okay, and, and the memories are laced with moonlight, um, sweet skin union, and choice a sense of worlds becoming one in bodies breathless and voices okay so that's what that's talking about on these lovers and then they told us about this death let's talk about it let's talk about this death all right we'll talk about it real quick shed some light on this death here um Rebirth, regeneration, metaphysics, um, this is the death of a relationship or an idea, ending, let it go, things that are no longer needed, making sure that you are not holding on to outgrown dreams and old wishes and new opportunities. This is the rites of path here. Um, and this is also talking about the aging of sage, the saging of ageless, the transcendence, the uh, ascendance, and let's rise from our cages, decaying and fray, and changing formations, rebirth and renewal, force and forth new creations. All right, so that's what that death is. We force and force and forth new creations. Okay. So that's what they're talking about there. And it's also talking about this relationship twice here, the lovers and, you know, other thing about this relation and the heartbreak is what's here. And then and he's taking off on this new journey, you know. And clarify this Ten of Pentacles for me. Okay, so that is the world cosmos. That's the world cosmos on that. That's the world they live in, you know. That's how things is revolving in there. In there. That's the vibration. Okay, and on the on the Knight of Pentacles, this is the Seven of Materials. Okay, this is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, 
seeing things plain, plain, and working on it, but, you know, trying to make things grow. Okay, so let's see right here on the Knight of Wands. That is the will that sometimes is up on this Knight of Wands and his passion. Sometimes he up in his wand and his feelings, and sometimes he's not. Okay, and on this Four of Pentacles, to clarify that, that is the Nine of Emotions. You know, you know, sometimes you know, and you when 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 your emotions is in something, you 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 feel, you know, you don't know how you gonna feel about it. You don't know how you're going to feel. Right? Sometimes you're going to feel good about it. Sometimes you're not. You know? This is the completion, the success, the attainment. This is the celebration. This is this full circle here. You done came full circles on this Ten of Pentacles. And now you have completely came full circle here. Okay? This is the joy, the ending of a cycle. This is the ascension. This is trying, tying up loose ends. And this is traveling plans. And it's a reminder to follow through with your plans. Okay? This is the um, vibrational attainment. Okay? And this is... um. And wholeness rises now, right above the cusp of joy surrounds. Sweet full circle of paths fulfilled, ascendant, ascent, ascent, dense, skips, and bounds. Okay, that's on, the, on that um, world cosmos. Okay, and then, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all. We got to make sure y'all stay right where y'all need to be on this. This is about the pause. This is about the assessing your progress. This is your perseverance. This is the long game. This is the investment. This is uh, manifesting for the future. This is gratitude and diligence. This is the sacred plateau. All right? This is what this is. This is the sacred plateau on you out here in these, um, on this out here, Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, out here on this journey right now. Okay? So she's slowly tying up some loose ends and getting things taken care of and being grateful and graceful and mindful in this situation. Uh, she invites you to step into the lineal, lineal space with her. This plateau serves as a beautiful break to take a breath and to take stock. Okay, when the muse pauses your timeline, relax. When she slows the clock, wait for her. And when she disappears from sight, uh, revelation and all the creations to come. Okay? That's what happens when she comes. Okay? Alright, so on this will, ten of will. This is on the will here. Yeah, we got that will here. That's that about that good luck. The two is um, time to move ahead. This is face and destiny. This is spinning the wheel of fortune. Sometimes it's up and it's down of life. Seeking serendipity. This is the um, timing. This is the cycle of change. This is the cycling circumstances. Okay? And um, this is sometimes the sea of serendipity wait dormant until they are sought. And the waves of synchronicity must be noticed and not caught. Okay, so you might not catch all the synchronicities that come your way. But trust and believe you, they are sending a lot of synchronicities your way. Okay? And how I know is because they're telling me. And it's right here before you. Okay? And this is on this nine of emotions. So somebody's in their feelings right here. The gift from the universe, dreams and manifest it. Enjoy your rewards, fulfillment and satisfaction, satisfaction, gifts and the positive message from spirit. Rainbow recognition is what this is. This is taste life of wishes brings the ups and downs of joy strings. And after all, my learning sings, my satisfied reward worth springs okay so some things gonna spring in the spring like i told you we in this fall back we're gonna spring forward in the spring okay so now let's talk about it we're gonna go here and talk about the death here and then we're gonna talk about the lovers okay right, so they got one here they talked about the ten of swords all right so this is about standing about 
what you want to speak about the truth. You want to speak about your voice. You got your voice. You want to speak about some things. You going to tell me what you want to speak about, about this loving situation. Tell me about it. This is about the three of wands in reverse, okay? This is about this third party or that you no longer want to be a part of a triangulation or a third party, okay? Tell me about the three of voices, three of cups. This is about the five of cups, five of cups, okay? Crying over something you had that spilt over, but behind you, you still got something still standing, okay? You still got some cups standing, okay? That's what it's talking about. Okay, so this is the four of emotions. Tell me about that. This is about the page of cups, okay? About not taking somebody's offer, taking being two feet in and two feet out. This is about the love, but, you know, that imaginary love. So I could give you a half a heart on my side, but then you need that whole heart to make a whole heart, okay? So here, it's imaginary I got your heart. Okay, it's imaginary. That's that play love. I play like I got your love, but in all actuality, I'm about myself, really. But we're gonna check it out to see what they talking about real quick. Cause um, yeah, we're gonna talk about it real quick. And, uh, yeah, get a little background. This is about the dreamer, the serendipity. This is about the creativity. This is about the new, unexpected, um, um, uh, projectatory. This is about the magic and synchronicities. And this is, um, open and joyful heart, sensitivity, and, and a romance. Being motivated and innovative ideas. This is missing the signs, being oversensitive and displaying childish emotions and blocking creativity here okay this is what this is about when you when you when you don't want to take somebody else's offer the world is my flourishing oyster and i'm excited to see what happens next okay so somebody was excited to see what's happening next okay and and, and what's happening next we're going to find out. This is the grieving. This is the disillusion. This is the disappointment. This is the betrayal of the bitterness. This is the wallowing and the self-pity. This is the self-signifying a broken heart. This is not letting go of past traumas and crying over spilled milk and rooted deeply into shadow work without healing and letting go. Old stories that become a part of you and callousness become jaded. So this is that uh, jaded, bitter bitch here about um you know some things that didn't go right my tender heart helps me navigate toward my bright future so you can't have be no bitter person and try to get to your destination at the same time because that's going to wheel up some negative outcome okay so yeah we're keeping it moving keeping it moving keeping it fresh and then we got this in the not dreaming the big enough um not dreaming big enough and this is the fear this is coming up to block your movement is delays here when you got this um this here this is your delays here some delays on this lover that was um here and then we got the death and i didn't get a card for that one mm -hmm. sure did and let's get one sure did and let's get one i got it at the bottom of the deck i got the king of wands but we're gonna see what the death of this is right quick tell me what the death of this is this is the five of swords this is about you know <laughs> being sneaky look like look like they've been a little sneaky look like look like they've been a little sneaky with some things they've been doing behind your back this is the competition the conflict the ambition the challenge being pushed by others to excel this is the brainstorming the mental jousting this is the adrenaline this is the an aggression this is the surpassing limits and dramatic energy leveling up nope that sure ain't that ain't that that sure ain't that I'm sorry, y'all. That sure wasn't that. That was the wrong thing. I looked at that. That didn't look the same. I'm sorry. <laughs> Reverse. Rewind. Erase. Here we go. This is the conflict. Like I said, the unfair. I knew that wasn't right. I was like, oh, so, so this is unfair um, advantage, experience and loss, the need to build your skill and your confidence, hollow victories. So this is empty victories. Um, you might have got the person's attention, but you didn't get the person's number. Or you talk to the person, you ask them how they was doing and where they live, but then 
you, you took the number down, but it didn't say that type of thing, okay? The deceitful strategies and feeling guilty about your wins and resentment and desires for peace. The realization that there is no winners, okay? So this is all a competition, and the only time you win a competition is when you competition yourself because others really just don't matter. You know what I mean? The lessons move me ahead always, okay? That's what happens when... We um on these five of swords. That's that conflict there. All right, so let's get it. Now we here. We didn't realize what we did. Oh, that was the one I had. So he gave us two. They gave us two. Cause I didn't see it. Ah. All right, so that is the painful endings, the crises, and being stabbed in the back. The opportunity to find um hit deep healing, an opportunity to find hope and resilience. Um, the resistant, the inevitable, and not wanting to let go of the negative um, emotions, rock bottom, and um, narrative rooted in lack and helplessness, devastation, loss. I am healing every day. Okay, so on that ten of swords, you're gonna be trying to heal every day, cause that's that you know that's that that seedful behavior that people you know, you know they stabbed you in your back about some things here. All right, let's see who stabbed us in the damn back. Let's see who did that. Let's see who we talk about. Let's see about the love here. Who's the love with? All right, so this is what a spider. Travel will open up new possibilities and one special connection. So this could be a new special connection. This could have was a, a special connection. And it might be a new special connection, okay? Tell me on the failures, and I understand that the mistakes is only an opportunity to learn. All right, so that's on that baboon, on that buffoon. That's in love. I declare a passion. Heartfelt communication is the key. So that is the key. But if it don't get crazy, okay, don't act a damn fool and want to fuck you up and bite you, okay? Then you fucking seven your fucking neck arteries or something. This thing got long, sharp teeth. And what if it can't be tamed, okay? This is the courage, okay, y'all? I know what kind of animals you're dealing with. This is a wild, wild boar. That got tushes on it. The things that stick out from the side of this is some projection. This is something that's sticking outside his teeth. He cuts you with that, you're going to bleed to death on your leg. Whatever traditions or other expected or expect of you, only to yourself be true. So this is only be to yourself be true because this is some merger shit in here. Somebody got some third party. Somebody was else here. Somebody else is here emerging in here with a person that's gonna act up on you. That other person got a tendency to act foolish. You know, and they're kangaroo. Look at that. He'll kick the shit out of you. But this one got a baby, so he'll really kick the shit out of you because he protected his young. Okay. As events take on their own um, momentum. You take a true leap forward. Yeah, that also is your quantum leap too. So you're going to take leaps forward. And some will take quantum leaps forward. And then some won't. Okay? Because they got a spider web here. They got a buffoon here. And they got a wild boar here. He root up the ground, tear up the dirt. He tear up anything. Because he looking for food. He kill up your chickens. He'll mess up your chicken coop. He'll do all kind of shit. Okay, he got all kind of courage to come up in your shit and tear up all your animals. The, he just like a fox. He'll steal all your chickens and all that shit. The baboon, he colorful. He got a whole he like a human. He like a mammal. He gonna be like a, almost like a man talking shit to you and hit at you. He slap you with it one of them fucking big ass arms he got. He'll break your damn jaw neck. Okay, on this Route 66. Okay, that's where we at with this one. Okay, and then we got the spider. Okay, this is I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, even in a spider, even in a web situation. You see the good in it, that's fine because it's a two way street of love, right? And then at the bottom of the deck, you got the correct the kangaroo, okay, going back and forth. And then the mouse is underneath this. So, some things that's going to be in this situation, you're going to get small about, okay, and nocturnal because it's going to be toxic too. All right, so let's talk about it. I'm ready. I'm ready. 2436. All right. Let's talk about it. Tell me about these spiders and tell me what they talk about. That's the clarity on these two-way streets. That's the clarity. Tell me on the book, on the baboon. 
This is the comp the compromise co the compassion you're gonna have. Compassion. I time to time on this wild boar. Wild boar. This is the beauty. The beauty of the courage it's gonna take, okay? So let me see. Let me talk to me. I'm gonna see what they talking about. Out here. Bee. Tell me some things about this clarity you want me to have for this this um, Bob Spider. How about you what kind of clarity you want me to have? They said they want me to have emotional withdrawal. Withdrawal from this stuff. Withdrawal from it. Emotional withdrawal. Okay? So tell me about the compassion about it. This is the move on on the compassion. Move on and, and, and find self and love, confidence for yourself. Okay? Tell me some things on the beauty. Uh huh. This is the financial and material change. On the beauties. When you get through this and get other people's hand out of your business and out of your situation, your money will increase. Because that's right now, other people is taking and merging other people into your energy and siphoning your energy and taking it back to somebody else. Okay, so that's where they're telling you some merging in here and it's blocking your blessings or dwell, the, the, dwindling your blessings. Okay, so this is what this third wheel wants here. This passion that went down a little bit. And then you got some, you know, you you got your dreams and your emotions here, and you feeling some kind of way about it. And you're not letting go of it here. And then over here, you was crying over some things about things that you lost and things that you know you put effort into. Oh, I forgot a postcard here. There are times you get lost but refuse to see the part and things. Happy to um, happy to everyone. Sometimes feel familiar, but sort of all. And if you're feeling confused it's best to throw away that map you're using which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences that isn't what you need right now instead take a deep breath and open your open up to your truth a desire to stay in denial means that part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the patterns you chose you should that's shown up in your life and yes that's the right time to wake up and start again by the way, you are always getting another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. I love you so much, and we really do. We gen with, Be gentle with yourself. Come out of denial. It's like being temporarily blinded by bright, super bright lights. Allow your eyes to adjust. Carry on a special one, and a beautiful life awaits. Loving you so, so much. This is from the fairies. Thank you. Okay? And at the end of this, this is the truth, okay? The truth is at the bottom of here. The truth lies within you, okay? The truth is in yourself, okay? You have all the things that you need to get through these things, okay? You got everything that you need, okay? So tell me some things right here. Why on emotional withdrawal? Sorry, y'all. This is the storyteller. This is going to be the way you rewrite this narrative of this story. Okay? This is the moving on. So you can get that happily life that you want. This is that merry motive. Give, have a, give me one reason. Give me one reason to stay here and I'll turn right back around. But ain't no reason to stay here if, you know, everybody is unhappy or everything is, you know, not loving. And three parties and not, and not everybody want to be in the third party. Not everybody wants to be in a third party, okay? So tell me some things about the body and soul. So this is your mind on the financial material change. You know, you got to put your mind, body, and soul here, okay? As well as um, into me, I see. So you got to look into yourself to see where you need to be, okay? So tell me some things on these, um, um, on this storyteller. Who's that? Um, things that make you feel stupid on the storytelling. You know, that's what I mean. Somebody told some lies here and they really felt stupid because the stuff, people knew the truth and it really made them look stupid. So almost like on the embarrassment, things you would like to do for your birthday. Um, it's a lot. I'm not going to take them all, but I will look at them. Um, things you don't understand about technology. Things that, um... You wish had never happened on this merry motive. You wish things didn't have to end like this. 
and things you keep close in case of emergency on the um into me i see things that happen that you um keep close in case of emergency and things you shouldn't send by mail on the mind body and soul and this is um the things you shouldn't try to do in the dark on the mind body and soul this is also uh, things you would do if you were a superhuman power, if you had superhuman powers. So you do have that supernatural power. You just have to tap into it, though. You have to tap into that supernatural power, and it is available to you. Okay? All right, guys. And make sure you keep truth with yourself, you know. And this as above and so below. We're talking about the no here. Just no. That you are not alone. This is a journey and not a just a destination. You know, you have to work with this and dive deep and work through these things. And if you are liking these types of readings, the as above and so below, may you subscribe, like, and share. And hit that bell notification along with that thumbs up so you don't miss another upload and so that others can get to see these videos as well. Namaste. Now, Moscow.